Okay, this is my Mazda 2003 Protégé or ES. Uh, recently I started coming up with an error code of P2009. Now, I did a bit of research in this and trying to diagnose P2009 can be quite difficult, if not painful, given the location of the computer in this car. But if you're lucky like me, you might have an easy solution. This car's got 130,000 miles on it. I see I've done some work on it. Uh, new coils and wires and stuff like that. But anyway, this thing here, right here, that dude, is a variable intake air solenoid valve. So it's variable intake air solenoid valve. All right, so the first thing you want to do in this is pull it out. All right, just check make sure there's no corrosion in it and stick it back in. All right, then you want to check that these hoses are not split. It's connected to this device. Hey, see if I can find it for you guys. Here it is, this guy right there. And that is called a variable intake air shutter valve actuator. I didn't realize this after about a week of reading. Uh, this car actually can control the size of the intake manifold and they say if, if that thing's not working correctly you could actually have a rough idle and quite honestly I had a rough idle and guess what no longer do I have a rough idle. So this, so you had to check this. So anyway you have to make sure your hoses down to that thing that variable air intake shutter valve actuator this guy down here they're good and there's hole, no holes in it but you know what there's a rod attached to that thing okay so you have to slip your hand around the back of this and the rods like aiming downward back of it and somehow get your finger on it all right and try to move it oh man it hurts again there i pull it up towards the actuator a few times See me moving it? I got my hand on that thing right there. I'm moving it up and down. All right. Well, guess what, folks? After I did that, I used my blue driver, which is a device I connect to my code reader in my car. Everybody had to have one. Otherwise, you got to go to AutoZone or something to get your code read. You don't know if you've cleared it or not because it's still there. But anyway, after I did that and I cleared the codes, I've been driving it for about 10 days now, and the code hasn't been thrown since. So I had found this on a block somewhere that at that, this rod attached to this, um, I guess it's a vacuum sort of device here. Look at my hand, I got messed up. Um, if that thing gets stuck, then that uh, butterfly valve in the intake manifold can't rotate, and it'll throw a code. So if you're lucky like me, that's what happened to you with your code.